Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am going to do a quick video on how to paint a ladybug. So we're going to start with engine red, licorice, and wicker white. These are all folk art products between uh, folk art enamels and the multi-surface paints. Brush that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a large brush, it's a three-quarter inch flat brush by Platt, it's a one-stroke brush, one of my fine liners that I have for fingernail painting, and then one of my tools that I use, it's actually clay ball making, but I use these tools to make dots with and love them. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to basically begin by filling our brush with the red is the engine red. Now keep in mind I am a lefty so you may have to go the opposite direction from what I'm going but again just keep that in mind. Alright so I'm going to put the brush down and I'm going to press it down, swing it around and if you're able to completely turn it and go back up then do so. If not then you can turn it, lift it up and then swing it around trying to get more like an oval shaped body not around but however you're comfortable with making it will be fine and I'm just going to add more red to it just to make it more opaque looking obviously it's not going to be on glass I'm just doing this as a demo to show you how to paint so a few different types of bugs. Alright, now because of what I'm going to be adding to the top of this, I am going to hit it with a heat gun. If you have a hair dryer, that's fine too. That's up to you. Alright, so here we go. I've got the body of it. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough for me to continue on. So what I'm going to do is take my liner brush, my fine line brush, dip it into my licorice, and then I'm going to do kind of like a triangle, but maybe with a little bit of swooping, a little bit of a curve at the bottom of the ladybug. It doesn't have to be perfect course. Alright, and then I'm going to take my brush and dip it into the white, just with the, with the licorice on there still, just to get so it's not stark, stark black. Draw a line down it. Now, if you feel like you want to go over it with some of the black, that's fine too. I just didn't want it to be completely black. Hopefully you can see this. I'm not going to touch my camera. I always get it waving when I touch it. Alright, so then I'm going to take the same liner brush and just make kind of like a partial circle. And this will be the guy's, the, or I shouldn't say the guy, the ladybug. Would be her head. I was gonna say this little guy's head, but anyways, it'll be the ladybug's head. And I'm just gonna paint it on like this. I mean, if you feel like the need that you have to have everything at precise, then feel free to draw it. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is take my little tool, and because I made it a little bit bigger than I did my sample, I'm going to use the bigger end, and I'm going to tap in the dots. I'm going to start up here and tap them in, and I want them to be similar in size, so I'm going to make sure that I do that as much as possible. Again, you don't have to measure or anything like that, but I'm trying to keep them to where they're kind of across from each other. Then I'm going to be putting two back in this end, 
and then put two kind of like in this spot almost as though they're meeting at that line maybe in a, even intersecting that line that's fine all right so we're done with that next step I'm going to do is take the liner brush again and then I'm going to go back in and draw the legs of, a, of the ladybug one like that make sure you can see it now with being left-handed trying to get it precise on one side you can always turn your paper if you feel the need I'm gonna do that just kind of make it not quite such a circle and then I'm going to come out here from this one and bring the leg like that come out from this side again and bring the leg like that I think I got out a little too far, but that's okay. You get the gist, right? You get the gist. And this little guy, he's going to be running around and getting into everything. All right, and then we're going to put the little antennas at the top of his head. I always like to make them not be identical in length. Not sure why. But I like them like that. So then I'm going to kind of wipe this brush off. Come back in with the wicker white. And then I'm just going to go over on some of it. I don't want it quite so thick. On some of them, now you can do either, either side. But I'm going to do the left side. And just come in here and put some little, I don't know, just some little, little swishes in just to give it some... Uh, I don't know, like kind of like, I want to say shading because it really would be more like sun reflection. And then I'm going to make sure I put my little eyeballs in like that. Come up here and do the same. If you feel like you need to add more paint, then you're go ahead and do so. All right, and that's all it takes. Pretty darn simple. Pretty darn simple. All right, if you're new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that share button that's beneath the video and share it on your social networks with your family and friends. I would appreciate it. And thanks again for stopping by. Until the next video, you have a good one.